So today we will be studying function oriented software design and we will study structured analysis. So do like, share and subscribe. So to the topic for today is data flow diagrams or DFDs. So another name for DFD or data flow diagram is bubble chart. And basically what is a DFD? A DFD is a graphical formalism. So it is a graphical form where that can be used to represent a system that consists of input okay input data and the various processes that are carried out on that input so processes and finally the output that is generated from the system by the system okay so input processes and output and the main reason why DFD is so widely used and it is popular because it is very simple to use and very easy to understand also because DFD has like very few elements it is also less complex so there are some symbols that are used for constructing DFD so basically we have external entity process data store data flow and output so external entity it is represented by rectangular an external entity can be anything like a librarian, library member. So this external entity are those physical characteristics to which the software is interacting and it is taking input here. It is like going to the processes, it is connecting to the processes. So this external entity can also be used for representing external hardware or software. Next we have this circle. This is known as process or it is also known as a function symbol. A function is represented by the circle simple these bubbles are like annotated with the names of corresponding function suppose a process is they are like making a certain thing so that will be represented by a circle that is that is known as process next we have data store so this data store is represented by two parallel lines so and it represents a logical file that is the data store can represent either a data structure or a physical file on disk so either it can represent data structure or physical file data structure or physical file okay so this is just a process and this one was like properties now next we have this data flow see this, this is the an arrow that is used for data symbol data flow symbol and it represents the data flow occurring between two processes so between two processes or between two external entities okay either it can be used with this or with this and arrow represents the direction in which it is flowing and finally we have the output symbol so this output symbol is something like this so this is a symbol and the output is used for like displaying the output what is the final result or the hard copy that is produced and let me just show you a very simple example of a dfd suppose something a process is like this there are two process data input or item something is get, getting input and the information is being read okay next it is passed to another process that is checking whether it is valid or not valid checking and if it is valid it displays it as an output that it is a valid number so you can accept it okay so display so this is this is like how you represent uh, DFD or there can be something like this uh, suppose we are reading a number read and we are reading and it can be like and we are also storing the number type whether it is integer or real number something like that and after that it goes for validation checking valid and finally if it is valid then it is displayed as a valid output so display so dfds are represented something like this and i will explain properly when we cover the next part so this was all about dfds introduction so thanks for watching it